Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's project is going to be refinishing this wood table. So as you can see, it's got some rough, it's looking pretty rough. Um, starting to warp a little bit. It's a pottery barn table, so it should be really good wood, but we need to sand it all down. We need to put some new oil, teak oil on it, and that sort of thing to make it look like new again. So we have to do it pretty quick because we're starting to get warping and that sort of stuff with it, and we definitely don't want to ruin the table because uh, it wasn't the cheapest table in the world to buy. So we're gonna refinish that today. Okay, so we've never expanded this table. It does expand, it's got two sections like this. So you can see what the table looks like right now. Um, very nice. It's very, it's patinaed. It's got a patina finish. So we, st we open the table up. This is what it's supposed to look like. Well, it's dirty, hold on. So obviously this didn't, have the elements hitting it. So it's supposed to look like that, um, which is a little bit different, a little bit different than this. So it's supposed to have a kind of like, it's a teak wood table. So it's supposed to look like that. Obviously not warped. So clearly we should have probably have done this a little bit long, a little bit ago, but now this will have to be re-sanded and finished down as well. So it matches, because obviously it needs to match. So we're gonna have to sand it, even though that section doesn't look too bad, you know, so. The first step in this process is we are going to sand down this entire table. So because we got a little bit of warpness here and that sort of thing, we wanted to try to come back together a little bit so it doesn't have these kind of ridges to it. So I got some 80 grit sandpaper on an orbital sander. So orbital sanders aren't really, um, expensive you could buy them for like 50 bucks or something like that and they're really kind of a nice tool to have in your box to do stuff with um so they're not really you can rent them too but renting them is you might as well buy it for 50 bucks so first step is uh 80 grit gonna go over the whole thing try to level it off a little bit and then um we'll go over it with some finer grit maybe like a 150 or, or 120 um but because of the warpness we're gonna go with heavier grit of 80 to start with and uh we'll see how this goes Okay guys, I wanted to give you an update on where we're kind of at with this. So um, I went and got some better sandpaper. So I went with 80 grit on this because I had a little bit of warping where some of these boards were lifting a little bit. And so I wanted to get the top of it really pretty smooth so you didn't have any kind of a, those warps look, warp looks to it. So I switched out the paper probably, I probably used about four of these already. So it really depends. Actually in this case where the wood's kind of worn out a lot more, it sands a lot easier because obviously there's a lot less finish on it and that sort of thing. So the stuff that wasn't really done before where it was kind of the original, um, took more sandpaper, but you know, it's nice and smooth and uh, that sort of thing. So after I do the 80 grit, which is gonna be pretty um, coarse. So it's for coarse and, and it's really kind of to take a, uh, a little bit of the wood off leveling wise. And then I'm gonna go back over it with like 150 grits. So that's really it. Um, we'll give you an update as we continue along. So this is really the sandpaper I'm using for my finer, my final finish, which is like 150 grit. It's very fine. Um, just to kind of go over it, give it a really, really smooth finish, um, and that sort of thing. So that's really it. The other thing too is um, we had a couple of really good kind of scratches in the table. So the nice thing about kind of going over it with a heavier grit paper is you can get those scratches out, go over with a finer grit paper to give it a, a baby, baby smooth finish. the legs off just to give them a good sanding and as I did the as I got them off I gave them a good sanding I did a 80 grit to get the all the remaining old stuff off and that sort of thing and uh, then I did a 150 grit so they're nice and smooth and all I'm really using is a cheap foam brush it's like a buck um, and some teak oil so I'll show you the teak oil here in a minute um, but as you can see, it's just nice and easy coats. You don't have to wipe anything off. You're not supposed to wipe anything off. You're supposed to let it soak in. And anything that's really um, sitting, like where water would sit, like on the top of the tabletop, I'll do two coats there because 
generally speaking, that's where it's going to take the most weathering. You can see the legs are in pretty decent shape. They look really good. Um, and this will darken a little bit. So it won't get really dark, but it'll darken a little bit. And then um, once it darkens a little bit, I might do two coats on these, depending on what kind of time frame I have here. But as you can see, you're just supposed to leave it, leave it soak into the wood really good. And you'll get a nice natural wood um, look to it. So you can see I'm doing the legs real, real quick right now. This is where it actually gets kind of to be a fun project because at this point, it's uh, less sanding, less dirtiness, and you get to start seeing what the final product looks like. So my goal really is to get these legs done. And then I'm gonna put these legs, I'm gonna let these legs dry for a little bit. I'm gonna put them back onto the table, and then I'm gonna put the tabletop up where it's sitting where I can take a look at the entire tabletop, what it looks like to make sure I don't get any runs or that sort of thing in it. But you can see the legs right now. That's what they're gonna look like. And they should turn out really nice. So I'm using a Minwax, um, a Hellsman Teak Oil. So it's for indoor, it's for dense woods and that sort of thing, but blocks moisture and UV rays, that sort of stuff, right? So it's teak mahogany and, and rosewood. This is about $11 and it goes a long way because it's really like putting stain, almost like water on something. So it goes a long ways. I imagine this would probably cover my whole tabletop and any of my exposed wood, but we'll see. And then I'm gonna double coat some of it, but pretty much a little bit, probably about four or five ounces is gonna do all of my legs. So, well, four legs. Okay, I'm finally at the point where I'm starting to do some of the actual teak wood staining. One thing I did do though, is I got tack cloth. So I don't know if you've ever used tack cloth before, but what it really is, it's pretty cheap. It's like three bucks for a little bag like this. And it really, uh, it really takes in all the little particles, the uh, sanding particles that you have. So I use that to wipe everything down and really kind of take and absorb it. So you can see the difference, right? So it started off as yellow. This is all those little fine particles of dust. So it takes it off the table so you get a little more of a uh, nice smooth finish. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to uh, stain it all up and uh, we'll see what it looks like. I'll probably put two coats across the top. is done got a quick swim in now to get the second coat done and then we should be done we're just putting a second coat on the top this time around because that's where it's going to take the most abuse from the weather so we want to make sure it's good and sealed and uh, that's it okay guys so that really kind of wraps it up for this one so we just got to wait for it to dry they say it's got about a six to eight hour dry time for uh, for everything so that's the project. It's so far it looks really good. The only thing I would change is I used the, some of those the 97 cent brushes that are sponged to put on the, the varnish and the teak oil. Um, I broke two of them because when you start brushing on them a little bit, they are really flimsy. So uh, either buy a bunch of them for whatever or get a cheaper brush just to brush it on. It worked, worked really well. It's just that, of course I broke two. So I was using it at the end. If you notice the video, I'm using it with my fingers which you get a lot of oil on your fingers and you have to clean up a little bit more. So that's it. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. Tell us what you think of it. Tell us and show us any of the projects you worked on that you did some teak oil work or you did some, uh, uh, redid some chairs, redid some tables or that sort of thing for your deck. And uh, we'll compare some notes. See you next time. Bye.